Zach Morris is trash. Zach scans the class for fresh meat to torment. He tries to pressure Robin into a date, but she quickly deduces he's broke and therefore not worth her valuable time. The gang's assigned a cable access show. Kelly wants to do something original a young audience can relate to. Zach wants to rip off a stale format made specifically for adults. Zach appoints himself co-anchor of his sloppy morning show that leads with a principal interview. Sure the kids are gonna love that. Then a weather report. That's just an excuse to put Kelly in a bathing suit and get her soaking wet. Time for the spaghetti sauce segment. For the teens. Screech's sauce is a hit. Fans are clamoring to buy it. Zach sees Robin, who he knows would probably do hand stuff for a rich guy, and gets a great idea. He yells they're going to sell Screech's sauce and be millionaires. Only his plan attracts Robin to Screech, because she is not interested in middle management. Robin tells Screech to buy her lunch with money he doesn't have. Zach commandeers the school kitchen with beakers he stole from the lab and labels he had Lisa print in the library. Kelly wonders if they might get in trouble for using all these Bayside resources to sell spaghetti sauce. Zach says it's fine, a lie. Screech returns from his pricey lunch date. Kelly says Robin is bad news. She only sees dollar signs. Screech is in denial, which Zack ignores to start his marinara empire. Zack packages the recipe he stole from Screech, in equipment he stole from the school, in a sequence he stole from I Love Lucy. Then Zack uses Bayside's AV gear to shoot a commercial that features every Italian stereotype under the Tuscan sun to be broadcast on airtime that was intended for their class project. Zack sets up shop without a permit inside a restaurant he is now competing with, displaying large color signage made on school printers. Then has the girls neglect their real cheerleading duty to rally up some sales. Meanwhile, Screech is in way over his head with his gold-digging lady friend, buying her lobster and expensive jewelry. The girls beg Zack to intervene. Unwilling to lose his female sales force, Zack finally agrees to talk to Screech. When Belding inquires if he knows anything about these exorbitant bills for tomatoes, beakers, and printing materials he does not recognize, Zack hands him a beaker full of tomato sauce with a printed label to throw him off his trail. But before Zack can tell Screech what he should have told him about Robin minute one, a man from Betsy Crocker Foods says that sauce they're selling, it's from their public published recipe book, Cease and Desist. Zack takes no responsibility for his latest business thrown together with no due diligence and plans to murder his friend. I'm gonna kill him. At least Screech has Robin. Zack at long last informs him she only wants cash, the entire reason Zack alerted her they were getting into the sauce biz. Screech, who should have stopped believing Zack years ago, understandably doesn't trust him until he overhears Robin's cruel laughter. Zack and the gang are packing up. Zack is stoked they didn't get sued and made a little cash. A good day at school in his deranged book. Belding walks in with the smoking gun Zack gifted him. He wants the $1,500 they spent by tomorrow, or they're all suspended. Zack says they'll just have to pay back what they stole from their profits. Only there aren't any. Screech spent every dime on Robin. This gives Zack a great idea. He has Screech tell Robin he's exhausted from making all this dough. So he's selling the recipe, today, to spend more quality time buying her lobsters. Zack shows up to the meeting, looking like a goddamn Indiana Jones villain. The gang runs a very hacky bit, saying the sauce is a gold mine, then begins a bidding war with this stranger who looks nothing like Zack. Robin takes the bait and writes a check for $2,000, a $500 net profit on their theft that Zack greedily grabs. Let's review. Zack Morris took an opportunity to make a new show for a young audience and turned it into uninspired chaos. Then when one quality thing somehow emerged from his pile, he schemed to use it to get rich to gain physical access to a shady woman he knew only wanted money. And when his noisy plan got Screech involved instead, did nothing to try and stop it until the damage was done because he didn't want to impede the profit margins of a business that has zero overhead since every part of it is stolen. In. Then, to pay back his theft after handing over damning evidence to his sole investigator, used his flair for dull showmanship to steal one last time by robbing a girl with a spaghetti sauce recipe he never even owned. Zach Morris is trash. Zach Morris is trash. <laughs>